This is day one in my six mark challenge for AQA GCSE Science. In the run up to the exams, Monday to Saturday, I'll post a new video with a six mark question so you can practice how to answer them. You can find a link in the description below to each week's questions and also access all of the videos in this series via the playlist. So here's our question for day one of the six mark challenge. Describe the tissues of the leaf and the function of each tissue. Now, before you dive into writing an answer, I want to remind you of a couple of things. Firstly, AQA GCC science examiners are not assessing your use of spelling and grammar and paragraphs. Your ideas need to be presented in a logical order, but there aren't any marks for full sentences. The only situation in which your spelling needs to be perfect is when we've got those little pairs of words that are so close to each other that they need to be sure you're using the right one. The rest of the time, even if your spelling is a bit wonky, you do still get credit. Not only are you allowed to use bullet points and numbered lists and tables, I would really strongly recommend that you do because it helps you to lay out your ideas in a more logical order and that's going to make it easier for the examiner to mark it. You might choose to write a little plan in the corner of the page before you start and actually your marker can give you marks for that plan even if you then haven't written anything in the main body where you're supposed to write your answer. My other advice is to be really careful that you are answering the full question. Very often, these six mark questions are what we call level marked. And so in order to get the highest marks, you don't just need to say six true things. You need to actually be making sure that you're answering all parts of the question. So here we've definitely got a two part question. We need to both describe the tissues of the leaf and talk about their functions, talk about their jobs. So now if you haven't already attempted this question, pause the video and give yourself six minutes for six marks to write an answer. We're now going to go through and look at all the different things that you might have said in response to this question and which of those things are particularly vital for you getting six marks. Remember, there's always one six mark question which is common between the foundation tier and the higher tier paper and that means it's aimed about grade four, grade five and I would suggest that this question is one of that type of question. So that means that particularly if you're sitting higher tier, you may know some additional information that is slightly beyond the scope of this question. And while you're not going to lose any credit for including it, and you do need to know it for the rest of your exams, you didn't actually have to have it here to get six marks. So as we've said, this question is going to be a level marked question. And that means that you don't just get six marks for saying six true things. You need to make sure that you're answering all the different parts of the question and that you're linking those together. So we're going to start off by naming the tissues of the leaf, then talking about what their functions actually are, and then thinking about how they are adapted to actually do those functions. So firstly, you should have named the epidermis, the palisade mesophyll, the spongy mesophyll, and the vascular bundles containing the xylem and the phloem. It's likely that you may also have included the waxy cuticle and you may have split the epidermis up into the upper epidermis and the lower epidermis, which is where we find the majority of the stomata, which is surrounded by the guard cells. If we then think about what the function of each one of those parts of the leaf is, the waxy cuticle isn't actually a tissue because it's not actually made of cells, but it's there to prevent water loss. And so it stops water from evaporating from the upper surface of the leaf. The epidermis acts a bit like a skin covering the whole leaf. The palisade mesophyll is where the majority of photosynthesis happens. And the spongy mesophyll allows gas exchange to occur. The vascular bundles are there for transport. And you may have included that the xylem transport water and minerals and the phloem transport sugar. And then those guard cells are there to open and close the stomata and therefore control the amount of water lost by transpiration. So those are our functions and we can now think about how the leaf is adapted and how each tissue is adapted to actually perform those functions. So that upper epidermis contains next to no chloroplasts. So they're basically transparent cells and that means that the light can penetrate to the palisade layer where photosynthesis is actually happening. Because photosynthesis is happening in that palisade layer, it needs lots and lots of chloroplasts. And you may have also included that in terms of its position in the leaf, the palisade layer is found right near the top, again, to maximize the amount of light that those cells are getting. The spongy mesophyll, as the name suggests, is full of holes, and those are going to allow oxygen and carbon dioxide and water vapor to diffuse through the plant. 
The xylem we know are these hollow woody dead cells and there aren't any divisions between where the old cells used to be whereas the phloem are these living cells and so they have these perforated ends called sieve tubes and also there are companion cells sitting alongside the phloem cells providing them with energy and so on. So as we said at the start you don't need to have done everything that's on this slide in order to get six marks. In terms of tissues you need to have talked about the epidermis, the palisade mesophyll, the spongy mesophyll and the xylem and phloem. It's okay if you haven't mentioned the waxy cuticle, it's okay if you haven't split the epidermis into upper and lower, and it's okay if you haven't talked about the xylem and phloem being part of a vascular bundle. In terms of their functions, you should have included that the epidermis covers the plant, the palisade mesophyll is the main site of photosynthesis, the spongy mesophyll is responsible for gas exchange, and the xylem and phloem are responsible for transport. You don't actually need to have broken this down into what they're transporting. And then you should have included that the epidermis doesn't contain chloroplasts, the palisade mesophyll has lots of chloroplasts, and the spongy mesophyll has air spaces. If you've done all of those things, then you get your six marks. Tomorrow, we're moving on to chemistry paper one, and our question is all about the modern model of the atom. Remember, there's a link in the description to all of the questions for the rest of this week's videos. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again tomorrow for day two of our six mark challenge. If you found this video useful then don't forget to like and subscribe for more GCC science revision videos coming soon.